What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Jealous 84, and today I would like to talk about the kill streak wishlist that I have for Black Ops 3. So let's start it off by saying yes, the spy plane should come back. I don't know, I don't care how many haters is out there like for the spy plane and shit, but it should be coming back. We don't want another Call of Duty Ghost incident where we have to play a cat and mouse game because we couldn't find each other. You know, that's how it literally was for Call of Duty Ghost. We couldn't find each other. We had to, you know, trust our hearing and you know pretty much sound whore the whole fucking game so most of the times when i was playing tdm the games won't even finish everybody would just end up backing up because nobody could find each other that's how boring the game got call of duty ghost it could have potential but with no spy plane and nobody fighting and shit we got a non-action game that's what i said so many times last year like two years ago or whatever when call of duty ghost was, was out and it was the main call of duty game i kept saying the game is fucking boring because we don't have spy planes so Bring back the spy plane. Do not be so fucking dumb like Infinity Ward. Um, th the next kill streak I would like to talk about will be the system hack. Please, please do not make this kill streak super low. It was super annoying in the first few weeks of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Really, everybody, just everybody, including myself, I spammed the shit out of the system hack and everybody else also. And the thing about the system hack, when it was regular system hack with no upgrades, it would give everybody a big ass X in the middle of the screen. What the fuck is that, man? And it was just super annoying. So please make it harder to get. The system hack acted so similar to the EMP, it's not even funny. So having the EMP being called because you got like a flag and three kills, it's just super wrong. Make it like in Black Ops 2. It was super fucking hard to get. It was like right under the dogs and shit. You know, the EMP was not that easy to get back in the day. So make it into the EMP again and make it harder to get like more than nine kills or so. And also more harder to get in points or something, you know, just make it harder to get. All right. It's, it's not supposed to be an easy accessible kill streak. Uh, another kill streak that I want back will be the Parrot Missile. Yeah, that was a good one. It was pretty much original. It was in every single Call of Duty, so it will probably come back. Another kill streak will be from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. You know, the little laser that shot from the sky. That one is a pretty good one. I enjoyed that one. And um, every time you heard it, hold it like uh, for a little while, it'll turn the laser into a bigger beam. So that one was actually creative. I was surprised by that kill streak. I was like, damn, you know, this is pretty cool to use. The thing that sucked though is only had like one little charge that lasts like around five seconds and shit. And I was like, ah, damn it. I had to upgrade in order for it to last longer. So um, it, it was a cool kill streak overall. And I would like to see it back into Black Ops 3 if the game is futuristic though. If it's not, don't bring it back. You know, it will be, it will be making no sense if it was like in the Vietnam area and shit. So, um, and the next kill streak I would like to talk about will be the, um, the little machine suit we have for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, please do not bring it back. There's already glitches going on in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare with that shit, so I don't want that one. Um, another kill streak will be the Paladin. Yeah, that one was cool and all. I haven't used it at all because I don't, I don't go that high in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Um, yeah, it's it's cool. It's the same thing as in the scene 130 so I do have my complaints about it, but I, I know it's OP as hell, but that's how it's supposed to be if it's the last kill. But make it harder to get. That's my thing. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare kill streaks were so easy to assess that it just killed the game like that instantly. I can see people just get it like right away after capturing two flags and like five kills and they got it already. Make it harder to get like back in the day. All the kill streaks were hard to get. No, it was not new friendly. Modern Warfare 2 was not new friendly at all. Unless you were using grenade launchers, of course it would be new friendly. But, uh, <laughs> but in the kill streak wise, it was not easy to get a nuke. It was not easy to get an AC-130. It was not easy to get none of those kills because kill streaks because it took you a while to get. So my point is, make everything harder to get. Do not make it new friendly. Do not make the EMP get be like six kills and you'll get it. Like shit, like no. Make those kind of hard ass kill streaks to, hard to get. Stealth bombers, especially stealth bombers or whatever the hell is called in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, that shit needs to be higher, man. It needs to be like 12 kills or so, because in order for you to get a stealth bomber in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, it's just a flag and like maybe like four to five kills. Shit, like fuck, that easy to get? Are you kidding me? Make the stealth bomber harder to get, nine kills to ten kills or so, because. That shit will disrupt the views of everybody. 
of even your allies. It annoys the hell out of me when my teammates start getting that shit. And then my screen starts shaking and shit. Like, that's not supposed to happen at all. In Modern Warfare 3, they fixed that shit. A lot of people complained about it, and they fixed it. So, so yeah, man. They, they gotta think. I mean, Black Ops 3 has to think. They have to organize those kill streaks. I know they're good with the kill streaks. Back in Black Ops 1, I enjoyed using the Huey. And yes, it was difficult to get. It was not that easy to get. The Huey, it took you a while to get. It was like 12 kills or so. So that is that was legit. You know, I enjoy getting the Huey. I enjoy getting all those badass kill streaks back in the day. So, you know, even even the Blackbird also. The Blackbird hopefully comes back instead of like just gives you a new UAV and hopefully you upgrade it from there. Like, fuck no, man. Let me get the spy plane and the advanced UAV at the same time. You know, do not make the kill streaks like Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It was even, even though it was a good system, kinda, but it was just overlapping some other kill streaks that could have been separate. So, um, so yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. You know, if you guys got your own kill streak uh, wish list, put it in the comment section. I'll read them later, and I'll probably agree with some of you guys because the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare kill streak system was just too easy to get. So, um, so yeah, hopefully do reconsider you know adjusting the kill streaks to harder to get so that is it leave a like leave a comment and what's up and i'll see you guys later